What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Run With Jay channel. So it's that time of the year again when the Nike Pegasus gets released. So in this video we're going to be reviewing the Pegasus 39 from Nike. I'm going to take a look to see how the shoe is, if anything has changed at all, and if it's worth the new price tag. So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Please hit that like and subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications. And to all of my returning subscribers, thank you for your contributions and support. So let's get this review started. So starting out with the specs as usual for this shoe. So the shoe was released at end of June 2022. Price tag is at $130 here in the US. So $10 more compared to last year. You know, at you know, with currently everything is more expensive. So I'm not surprised that Nike has increased the price of this shoe as well. The weight of the shoe, um, actually, it was the, one of the most surprising things for this year's version. It's actually down almost an ounce. So my size eight and a half this year weighs at about 8.7 ounces as opposed to last year's at 9.5. So that's a huge plus. Uh, definitely a good thing uh, for everyone. The offset is pretty much the same compared to the last year's version at 10 millimeters with a 33 in the heel and 23 in the forefoot. So initial glance at the shoe, I like the design of it. Um, it looks, you know, uh, neat and fresh and, uh, and it looks pretty much, you know, just like a Pegasus. Um, so I could e tell right away that this will be a Pegasus and honestly, you know I'm not expecting a miracle for Nike to change the Pegasus line into something that it isn't so uh, Even though this shoe isn't like your top end Nike shoe Nike still hypes up this shoe to be one of your most anticipated release every year um, Even though it's just a like a mid-tier kind of you know do-it-all running shoe It is one of their most popular shoes and they have been tweaking this for years now uh, so it's you know it's uh, have a lot of versions uh, prior to this. So Nike has made so subtle, subtle changes here and there, and we arrive at this shoe, which is a little bit of a change, but not too much as opposed to the years before. But I do like this year's uh, updates uh, compared to last year's uh, little minor change. So this shoe is made up of a few important components. You have the upper is made of the mesh upper again, very similar to the years before. The pattern is a little bit different. Um, honestly, I didn't feel any difference in terms of heat or, you know, um, breathability. Um, in fact, I think this year it might be a little bit hotter compared to years before. Um, the laces are very similar compared to last year's. The lacing system has changed back to the Flywire uh, lacing system, uh, similar to the Pegasus 35 that I still use to this day. Um, it looks like Nike pretty much just recycles, the, you know, their technology uh, for a lot of their shoes until, you know, they make a big breakthrough. Uh, but, you know, it seems like, you know, just like fashion, Nike just brings back things they've used in the past that maybe tweak a little bit um, and, you know, they call it a new shoe, basically. Also, uh, what's interesting is you can actually see the Flywire cables on the sides of the shoe uh, on the uh, mesh upper. There's a little, like, uh, you know, like little hole here that it's pretty transparent. Um, actually, it's pretty nice because when you put your feet in, there's like another layer of in lining that like, almost feels like it's uh, like a padding uh, for your feet, which feels pretty comfortable. Um, like my foot felt pretty locked down with a new lacing system and the uh, padded tongue definitely does help, um, you know, with the lacing so it doesn't hurt the top of your foot. On the back and the side of the ankle area is very similar. It's got a lot of padding. I think it's a little bit more padded. You know, compared to years before um, insoles pretty much the same you can take them out um, as needed uh, another big change of this year you have the foam in here it's all it's react foam like last year however i feel like the formula of the foam is a little bit different uh, it's definitely i feel a little bit softer compared to years before which is uh, good for me um, they did add air zoom pods in the front of the shoe as well as in the back of the shoe with all of this uh, foam here um, so that's a different uh, addition as well. Honestly, I feel like this might have made the shoe a little bit softer and less stiff compared to previous year's version, which I didn't really, you know, care much for. Um, the 37 and the 38 pretty much uh, were identical. Very minor changes, maybe to the upper. There's a small heel counter in the back of the shoe that gives you some stability. 
um, in the back uh, is you know pretty standard and on the bottom they changed the outsole um, you know a little bit um, it still has the same style as you know all of the uh, previous Pegasus as well uh, they changed the design a little bit added some more grooves and thicker like uh, uh, triangles in the bottom uh, for more grip but um, so I didn't have any issues running with the grip or anything. Um, it's not a big pinpoint for me, and I have nothing to worry about when running in this shoe. And they also have a fly, you know, ease version available for this shoe as well for people that you know like the ease of just like zipping up their shoe instead of tying it. And they also have this shoe in normal and wide. Uh, fits as well um, this shoe is true to size as well so i didn't have to change my sizing or anything um it comes in multiple colors and they'll also release you know a lot of colorways um, in the future and you can also you know customize your shoe to make it your own as well by choosing your own colors and similar to last year they might release uh, different shoe versions for different sporting teams as well so if you're a big fan of a you know a sporting team be sure to check out uh, those uh, team specific pegasus uh, shoes as well so as soon as I put the shoe on, I noticed how comfortable and soft the shoe is, which is very welcoming. Um, when I was running at slower paces, the shoe, you know, wasn't as exciting, but, you know, definitely it felt like your, your typical Pegasus, um, like a shoe. And I mean, it was comfortable and soft. And um, when I picked up the paces, though, I think the shoe really shined. Uh, you could definitely feel the, you know, the weight difference with it being a lot lighter. And you can transition a little bit better with your foot as well. And also the soft shoe is softer and more flexible. So it makes running a lot more comfortable and fun as opposed to last years when it felt like it was just too stiff and I was just slapping the ground and you know it wasn't a shoe that I wanted to use uh, much at all so uh, I definitely like the changes they made this year um, it's still going to be a Pegasus so for people that are looking for a shoe this shoe to like be totally different they might be you know um, be uh, disappointed uh, because the shoe although you know made has made some changes is still pretty much your typical pegasus feel so um nike is due to you know really revamp the shoe hopefully next year so we'll see what happens because the shoe is pretty much it stayed the same uh you know in terms of its concept and design and silhouette um, there are small tweaks here and there, but you know, but Nike just brings back old technology they have used in the past, and you know, make call it a brand new shoe basically. So hopefully, we'll see Nike make some you know bigger changes to the Pegasus line, you know, for the 40th version next year. So overall, I like the changes of the Pegasus this year, especially with the weight difference of about one ounce less. Um, I do like the new upper back going back to the fly wire system because it locks my foot in pretty good and don't have any issues with heel slippage. The outsole is pretty good as well. You know, there's no issues with that. Um, other than that, the shoe still feels like a Pegasus. It's comfortable. This year, it's a lot less stiff and it's softer, so you can definitely have more energy response and you can your foot transitions a lot better as opposed to previous year's versions. So price has increased by $10, so if that's not a big issue for you, then I'll definitely look into the Pegasus 39. Um, it's a, definitely a workhorse shoe that you could use for everything, um, including walking or you're going using for vacation that you could both run and walk in. So this shoe is a great option, and if you want a shoe that lasts you a long time, like I said before, uh, the Pegasus is definitely a shoe that will do that for you. So I had a good time running in this shoe. It was fun, comfortable, soft, and it's definitely a shoe that I recommend to maybe you know newer runners who are undecided on a shoe that could do pretty much everything for them and also mixed paces you know, without paying hefty price tag for your upper level or, you know, racing shoe. So uh, it's definitely a shoe you could use for pretty much everything. I still use my Pegasus 35, you know, for walking around, and I've had that shoe for years, and it's still, you know, good. The outsole's still uh, pretty much intact. Um, there's really nothing uh, wrong with this shoe. So, uh, you know, uh, from my experience, if you buy a Pegasus, you can pretty much use that shoe for years um, to come so if you want durability in a shoe that lasts you a long time the Pegasus is definitely a good option and then like they say they call it the workhorse and they don't call that call it that for no reason so so thank you guys for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it you know let me know down below what do you guys think of this new Pegasus is this something you're going to pick up or are you probably going to pass or if you have the shoe already I would love to hear how you're enjoying it or not enjoying it and if you have any other questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to leave them down below. 
Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. Hope you guys are all staying safe and your training is going well. And I'll talk to you guys on the next run.